Do you want to upload high quality videos to TikTok, but edit them in Premiere Pro first? Today, I'm gonna to show you the best Premiere Pro export settings. So when you upload your videos to TikTok, they look great. So here we are in Premiere Pro. TikTok videos are in the vertical format, nine by 16. So it's best to hold your camera in the vertical orientation to get the best results in TikTok. But if you have a clip that is shot horizontal, we can still make that work. In fact, that's what we're gonna to do today. Since you're editing your clips in Premiere Pro, it might be good to know some of the requirements for uploading a video to TikTok. One, the resolution has to be more than 720 by 1280, and your TikTok video can be up to 60 seconds. Now, create your sequence, that is Command N, and you have all these presets here in Premiere Pro. I'm just choosing the top one, the ARRI 1080p 23.976. That is the preset that I'm gonna start out with. So now I'm gonna click settings. And the first thing we need to do is change the frame size, basically reverse it. Right now it is 16 by nine. We need to change that to nine by 16. I'm gonna make this 1080 by 1920. And all these settings that are here currently in this preset are okay. Let's save this as a preset so that we don't need to go through all this again every time we make a TikTok video. Click on Save Preset, give it a name, anything you like, and say OK. And down here, you see under Custom is our new preset. And I'm just going to name my sequence, TikTok sequence, and say OK. Now I have a clip I'm going to drag over onto the timeline and my clip mismatch warning comes up and I'm going to keep the existing settings. So now you can see that in the program monitor, the clip I had was shot horizontally and that's okay because we can still fix that. And with my clip selected here, I can go to motion up on the effects control tab and I could click on scale and scale my video up until it fills the frame. And this is a time lapse. I'm just playing that back right here. And I'm definitely under 60 seconds. And here's where you would want to do more editing. You're probably editing in Premiere Pro because there are a lot of things you can do here in Premiere Pro that you can't in the TikTok app. I'm going to add a little more color to this clip here. I'm going to come over here in my the metric color panel, come here to creative to look, and I'm gonna look for SL Gold Rush. There's SL Gold Rush HDR, and I just added a little bit more color to it, just for editing sake here. So say we've got our editing done, let's hit the up arrow to move the playhead to the start of the clip, hit I to mark my in point, hit the down arrow, hit O to mark the out point. So now I'm ready to export. If you're getting value out of this, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe so you get more videos like this. So we're gonna come up here to File, Export, Media. You could use the shortcut if you're on Mac of Command-M is your export dialog box. The format should be H.264. Preset, choose match source high bitrate. If you want, you can experiment with this and choose something like high quality 1080p HD or mobile device 1080p. I'm gonna go with match source high bitrate and output name. I'm gonna give this a name and note the location where I'm exporting it to. Say save. Export video and export audio are probably already going to be checked. Down here where it says your basic video settings, the wish should be 1080 height 1920. Frame rate is matching what was in the sequence, 23.976. I'm going to check render at maximum depth for performance. I have hardware encoding profile. I am going to set that to high. In level, I'm going to set that to 4.1. Now I'm going to slide down further to bitrate settings. Now I'm going to set my bitrate encoding to VBR2 pass. And I have my target bit rate at 10 and my maximum at 10 also. So these bitrate settings are going to give us a good quality file and it's not gonna to be too big. The reason I say that is if you're going to be uploading 
this file from your phone. 72 megabytes is the limit for Android and 287 megabytes is the file limit if you're uploading from an iPhone. And make sure your use maximum render quality is checked. If you want to click on the audio, all these settings, ACC or audio codec, 4800 hertz, stereo, audio quality high, bit rate 320, those are all good. And now, so you don't have to go through all this again, you can say this is a preset, hit the say preset button right here, and you can give it a name and say okay. And now I can click on the export button down here and it'll export to the location I've chosen. And now we're gonna upload this to TikTok. Since we've been working here on our computer with Premiere Pro, it makes sense to upload it to the browser, which we can, we can upload it to TikTok.com. But you can use your phone to upload it if you choose. If you have an iPhone, you can use AirDrop or Dropbox. Android, you can use Dropbox. Get your clip onto your phone and then upload it that way. But we're gonna to go to TikTok.com. Now we're on TikTok.com. And up here is this cloud icon. Click on that to upload the video. You can drag your video to the upload area. You want to put in a caption here. You can add your hashtags or your mentions here. And right here where it says cover, you can drag this slider to anywhere you want. So that will represent your cover. And for right now, I'm going to click on private and say post. And that's all there is to it. Now, if you want, you can actually check the video quality. You can get on TikTok on your phone and download it to your phone and either airdrop it to your computer or, or Google Drive or Dropbox and get it onto your computer and use something like VLC Media Player to check the resolution and see how the bitrate is. And if it's not the quality you want, you may want to re-upload, but first go back into your export settings, maybe increase the bitrate to 15 megabits and then export again and re-upload to see if that improves. If you want to know more about the best Premiere Pro export settings, click or tap on one of the videos on the screen now. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, and share this video. And remember, it's never too late to learn. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.